So welcome to today's training, guys. Welcome to our, it's not really a boot camp. I call it a YouTube boot camp on, um, on, our, on our team page. It's really just a YouTube 101 because we all love YouTube here. And uh, if you're just getting started, here's a couple of tricks that I learned along the way that's kind of really helped. Uh, and in the, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask away because we're all here to learn together and to have some fun. This training should only take about 20 to 30 minutes. And what's everybody's channel's name? Nine is Beauty Unlimited. Beauty Unlimited. And and just started her channel. She placed her first uh, ever uh, YouTube video up last, last Friday. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. It already got like over 40 views, which is amazing. Balls. That's so great. So good for you. And then Candace, I don't know if Candace is having issues with the audio, but Candace's channel is Avon Dash. It's all good with Candace. And what's your channel about? Okay, so basically it's um well I started doing the review on the catalog, um, the brochure. Yep. Um, but hopefully it's just Avon life, living Avon as a part, being a part of my thing. Um, just showing that as busy as you are, you can still do this business. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. kind of, because awesome. I do live a crazy life. So that's yeah. kind of my thing. No, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. And that's the beauty of this business, right? It's like, just like you said, even if you live a crazy life, if you have a spare 10 minutes, you can you know, there's things you can do to grow a business online with Avon. So that's really exciting. The main thing about the YouTube channel is that there's a lot of different things that I found along the way that can actually really help save time. And part of that is mostly through your channel dashboards. So with the channel dashboards, how, uh, and I'm going to assume you guys already know how to get on there, but if we are brand spanking new, oh, Andrew's coming on, um, the way you do it is if you're on your YouTube channel, you go to your little icon here, click on it, and then go to YouTube Studios right here. Hi, Andrea. And then it'll take you directly to your channel dashboard, which would look like this. So your channel dashboard, it's really, really important to check this on a regular basis. If you, and we're all Avon leaders here, is very similar to checking ARC. I check my dashboard every day because YouTube for me is an integral part of building my business and building with the awareness of my brand. So that's why I am literally on YouTube checking my stats every day, if not several times a day. It's, it's become a bit of an unhealthy obsession, to be honest with you. Um, and on here, it'll kind of show you like what videos are doing well, what videos are not doing well. You can go on to directly to check your videos, which is kind of nice. Um, because you can see them at different comments, any lives that you've done, which I've done some live streams, but I haven't published anything I really need to do on. And then once you get to what's called a thousand subscribers, you get something called a community post, which I just learned that you can actually do scheduled posts on it, which is really cool. So this community post, I mean, it's not very active for me yet, but it's gonna, it's gonna get there eventually. It's just something you gotta have to build. Like with all of our social medias, we do have to build and grow um, throughout our journey with it, right? And like doing the polls was really fun because I actually got 16 votes. And so people seem to really like, like the things like, like the um like the polls where they can easily interact. So we're getting a little bit of feedback. Do we mind the media? that's me? Sorry. Oh, it's okay. The thousand subscribers thing for the post, that's one of the most significant changes, and that's been really fun. Now, um, the other thing that I want to chat with you guys about is about your channel URL. So I was actually really, 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 really lucky that I started my YouTube channel eons and eons and eons ago. And so if you take a look at the corner up top here, you'll see that my URL is youtubes.com slash channel dash like that, right? So it's going to be like that until you've hit your first 100 subscribers. So if you have a goal, my first goal would to be recommend push hard to get that 100 subscribers, because once you do that, what happens is you can actually custom your URL and I've customed mine to the dancing Ava lady. Now I was able to do this before they implemented the big, um, the big switch because yeah, they just changed it like a year after, or no, actually a couple months after I relaunched. But having a, a, a customized URL is, it looks more professional, but also it's easier to share your channel. Um, but in the meantime, for now, I would suggest using Bitly 
if you want to have something on like a business card or on um I don't know, whatever, like one of your socials, just create a bit.ly. It's also free to you. And I do that for my XRS channel, which is my blog channel, which is still under, under 100 subscribers, but that's okay. That's I, that's a hobby channel. So now a couple of things. Um, what's important to have is I think having a good banner is really important because it just kind of, um, it sets the overall tone of your channel. And the other thing is also having a picture of either of you or your branding or your logo. Have all of that set up when you launch your channel, because then when people see it, they're not seeing like a letter or they're not seeing a blank screen. It's it just really customizes your channel a little bit more to switch it. You just need to go up to the top here and find that little camera button. You can click on that and you can change your profile picture, your banner image. And this is cool. This is called a video watermark. So you need to um, create a little tiny logo. And I used a little dancer one here that my husband created. And you can either choose to have it displayed at the end of the video, you can customize your own start time, or you can choose it for the entire video. And what that does, if you go into one of my chat, one of my videos, this is the channel in incognito mode. But if I open it here, let's say onto this video, you see oh. the logo right there. When you click on that, it's an easy place for them just to subscribe. So that's that's why I have it running the entire time. After I started doing that, I did notice an increase on my subscribership because it's easy. It's right there. People are like, hey, there's a thing there. What is it? Oh, okay, I'll subscribe because I haven't yet or I thought I'd subscribe, but I haven't yet. So create that little watermark logo is really, really important. And you can probably do that um, on Canva. And then what I do is I, I put it on Canva, then I use it onto Photoshop um, and, I, and I create it as a transparent image. Now for you three, because you're on here as a Jesse loves you promo. <laughs> or Jesse loves you bonus. If you want a watermark and you already created the image and you just need it to be a transparent image, send it to me. I'll get it done for you. Okay. It might take me a couple of days, but I'll get it done for you. All right. So that's that. Please watch my videos. She's really cute. This one. She's really cute. Right. <laughs> now, the other thing is um, kind of jumping around a little bit. I like to check out my, my, my channel on incognito mode because it doesn't have any biases because it doesn't uh, remember any search histories or anything so this is what my channel would look like to a new subscriber so if a new subscriber comes in if they can see that's like oh wow you know okay she does talk a lot about beauty now there's a couple of options available you can even at the top here for news people who haven't subscribed yet you can actually post up a little video about yourself or what your channel is about and i can show you that on my other channel here Okay, so you see how as a non subscribed person on this channel, it has like a little intro video to show kind of what my video my channel is about here. So it's like traveling, family, food, eating, right? So completely unrelated to Avon. That's why I have a whole different channel on that. Any questions for me so far? Just the question I was going to have was you said to do that little watermark. Yeah. How do you add the subscribe button to it? The is subscribe it button in is the automatic. Oh, it's automatic. Okay. Yeah. So what you do, oh, cool. that's an excellent question. What you do is you go to channel customization. So you saw before I clicked on this little button here. Yeah. Do you see it? Okay. So I clicked on that little button, the little camera button, and that will take me here under branding. Okay. So there's layout and that's where you do the trailers and stuff, but under branding video watermark this is where you can add in and or to change the image here it is kind of specific with the sizing so you do want to just pay attention to that but you just make a really teeny tiny picture and then just make it and, and the and the thing is you want to make it really simple so don't have extra words out there don't have extra fluff it literally is like one thing, one picture or something like that, super tidy. So if it's, let's say, uh, Beauty Unlimited, you can have a picture of, let's say, like a, a logo of like a B and an A or something. I don't know. But you just got to create that logo. Okay. Um, so maybe even if you just create a logo right under Canva, right, you can use, you can create a logo. Uh, yeah, create a logo. You can do it in, sorry, you can do it in Pies app too. Oh, okay. Because I was just on there and I was like, a logo. Hmm, okay. 
So I just wanted to interject that because you can use it on PyZap as well and it's free. Other features that I've noticed that really helped is um, also your basic information. So the basic information that is at the about side here, you write about what your channel is about. I've seen so many channels where this is just completely blank. Why they do that, I don't know, but I think this is just a really easy space where you can go and just type out some stuff. I'm not sure why these links aren't live, so I do have to check that out and figure that out. Maybe they don't allow live links on here, but it does just kind of give you an overview of what your channel is about. <laughs> and if you, if you, yeah, so if people want to see my email address, they can contact me there and where my location is. For us, the location is key. We want to have our location up and I would never say specifics, like don't say, you know, um, Athens, Ontario, for example, right? You want to just cut, I just do Canada because we can sell Canada wide. Okay. Um, you can also put your link on here. Oh, there's a link. You can put your link on here. I wonder if I can actually edit my links a little bit more, but I'm going to check that out a little bit later on. So there's that. Now, default, defaults here. If you're onto your section here and this is what's really saves time for me you know how on our on our videos how each one it has the description right i don't type this out every single time that would be a pain in my butt so i type out this section to here and then i type out this section here okay and any licensing that i need to write out if you guys are using music for now i would highly until you get more comfortable with it um use only Creative Commons stuff, or you'll get copyright claims on your work, um, and that will happen if you're if you're reposting like a TikTok or a reel. You'll probably get a copyright claim. Copyright claims aren't really anything to really truly worry about. It's a copyright strike that you gotta freak out about. Okay, so the copyright claim is just basically meaning that if that video will be demonetized and or any of the money that's generated from that video from ads, strictly from ads, not from our sales, but from ads, those will go to the owner of that particular claim, right? So it, it, for us right now, it's not a big deal. None of our channels are monetized. So you're yeah. saying that most of that stuff you have saved already? Yes. Where so, do you save it? That's my question. question. You go onto your channel dashboard where it says dashboard here, scroll down to the bottom where it says settings. When you click on the settings, you'll see general channel default. Click on that. So this is where I have my settings. So on my title, I always have the line, the dancing Avon lady. Now the line, what that does, it just kind of helps separates the title a little bit more so that I can have multiple titles on there essentially. So I can do, you know, belief, beauty, bash, line, product review line, the dancing Avon lady. So that it looks like I have three separate titles. Then here is where I have the description where I have all of that extra things. I would suggest type it out onto Word or whatever word type of a document you have so that I can spell check it and things because this scrolly thing, if you have more than like 200 characters gets really annoying. So I would have it all typed out on Word and then just copy and paste it in here. Okay, my visibility default is always set as unlisted because I always want to review the video one more time before it's public or I can also schedule it. I can always schedule it as well. Okay, now the tags are the other one that's really important to have as a as a video default. So these are video default tags. And what that means is one second. Okay, Andrea, what that means is that um, these will be your keyword tags for every single video that you have you can delete them if it's not relevant so for example not all of my videos will have the vlog or the xrs if it's not a vlog style it wouldn't make sense for me to put it on there but i have it on there just in case i don't forget okay um but this this act itself has saved me a lot of time that's been really keeping me sane the only thing is if you're uploading from your phone this will not show up if you're uploading from your computer then this will show up this will automatically default so if I upload from my phone before I release it, I just go into one of my videos and I copy and paste all of this on there. But the only things the tags won't work. Now, what's important about this, and this one I just learned from another YouTuber, is whatever you put into your title, pretty much repeat it in sentence form in your description section and in your tags. And it better be something that your video is actually about or YouTube won't like it.
Okay. So if I'm going to say, let's say, for example, moisture therapy, hand cream 101, how to use. All right. I would say, hey, guys, and then that would be my title. Then in my description box, I would say, hey, guys, today's video, we are learning about the moisture therapy hand cream. You're learning everything that you need to know about this. Are you going to learn the 101 on the moisture therapy hand cream? And then the keywords, it would be a copy of whatever the title is. OK, so that's what it would be, how I would suggest to do it. Um, and I've been trying that. I don't know if it's really made a big difference, but I think so, because I think I'm getting a little bit more views on average when my videos first come out now. Yes, Andrea, I have a question. I wanted to ask about the music. So are you allowed to use any song and just tag what it is or something in it? How does that work? No, we're not. Um, if you have... Okay, so there's a couple of different things. So there's something called royalty free music, and there's something called creative commons music, and then there's the music that we know and love. The music that we know and love that you hear on the radio, commercial ads, and all that stuff, 99% of the time, they paid a royalty free for that, like a royalty fee for that, or they pay to use it, right? Or they pay to stream it. So we cannot, as creators, use that without any sort of mention yeah met, well not even mention like consequence really so oh, okay. you can i have videos where i use like top 40 music and so again that just goes with a copyright claim so your videos may be blocked in many countries or all the countries it, it just that's what you risk Okay. The other thing that could happen, it could be somebody if you're using too much of their video, they can do they can have a legal action and put a legal copyright strike on you. And with YouTube three strikes, and they close your they close your entire channel. All right, and you can't reopen that channel, from what I understand. Okay, so you do want to be really careful. So where you get uh, where I get my music is through this here, the audio library. I click on that. Okay, and you'll see here they have they actually have a lot of music, like a lot, a lot, a lot of music. There's like probably thousands of titles here. Uh, but when you see the license type here, it says YouTube audio library license. You're free to use this audio track in any of your videos, including videos that you monetize. No attribution is required. That's mean you don't have to mention this video at all. Okay? Oh, okay. If it says that you need to have a mention, if you go to, let's say, Ben Sounds. This is another one that I really like. Ben Sounds is royalty-free music, okay? So that means that you can use the music without having to pay for it. Some of them you can purchase if you choose to, okay? But you have to follow their rules. So let's say this one here, if I like it, I want to download it. You have the free license with attribution. So attribution, again, you need to mention them. So you can use this music for free in your multimedia projects, blah, blah, blah. But you have to put the credit at bensounds.com. So for example, music, that. So you could just copy and paste that. And then they specifically say here, you can't use it for your audiobooks, you can't use it for audio podcasts, no song making and no mu music remix. So we can use it for YouTube. The other possibility is that you can go over and purchase the pro license where you can do optional credits and all that. There's also other services, if you will, where you can subscriptions, thank you, subscriptions where you can subscribe and pay an annual or a monthly fee. So you have more options for music. Honestly, though, if you're starting out, just use what's free. That, that's, that's always been my rule. Use what's free until free is not good enough anymore, then pay. Okay, because right now it's 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 more of a hobby channel until you get really into it so that's ben sounds there's a bunch of different ones like there's freesounds.org um and things like that and so choose what you want to do it's completely up to you but that is what i would suggest use what's free until you can't anymore all right and i think there's enough up there honestly for all the free stuff oh, like yeah. even on a uh, tiktok if you go on there as long as you go into the music, it just says share, and then just make sure you share in the in, in your comments or whatever. TikTok is only copyright free in TikTok, though. Right. Yeah, oh. If you, yeah. If you share it onto Instagram, they may or may not mute your video. <laughs> if, but what if you say where you got it from? Like in my TikTok videos, I post yeah. got it from blah, blah, blah doesn't really make a difference from what I could tell. They, they will still copyright claim you. Really? Yeah, I because I've posted up videos. I said, I do not own the rights to this music, but 
I still get copyright claim, which is fine. Like, I mean, it, again, it doesn't make a difference to me because my videos are not monetized right now. So it's it's totally fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, but like, and then if you post up onto YouTube, it's often banned in several countries. Uh, I think like Germany, Sweden, Switzerland, and a bunch of, but it's available in Canada. So I'm like, oh, this is good. Even these ones that you're showing us? No, these ones I'm showing you are royalty free and and creative and it's creative comments, so you're fine, as long as you give them the proper attributions or the proper credit if they request it. Next thing, the general Canadian dollars, because we talk about anything, we want to make sure it's in Canadian dollars. Under channel, this is where you do the where you're from. We put Canada, um, and then this is the keywords for your channel. So for people to find your channel. These are the keywords, okay? That's under general. Under Ch settings, channel, okay. and then basic information. Okay. Okay. And then there's advanced features. I always set it as the channel is not made for kids because if you set it up as it's made for kids, then what happens is that you're going to have, you will be able to accept any comments. There'll be no comments allowed on your channel, okay? All right. Uh, you can also choose whether or not you want to display the number of people subscribed to your channel. I believe if you want videos over 15 minutes, I don't know of any more if they make it so that you have to have over 100 subscribers. But if you if you verify your phone number, it looks like that you can put up videos that are over 15 minutes long. Comments here. So be warned, you are going to get trolls. <laughs> Which is fine. <laughs> they, sometimes they'll also have ones that are held for review. Okay, uh, so do check your comment section because the comments is where you are going to get your engagement from your from your from your viewers. You want to make sure that you comment. How are you guys finding everything so far with YouTube? It's interesting. It, it's 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 fun. It's it's fun though, but it's yeah, you still get nervous and jittery, right? When you yeah figure, yeah. A lot of play time. That's what I'm finding. I need a lot of play time to do this. Yes. The other thing is analytics. That I want to ch ch chat really quickly about analytics. Okay. Um, you want to always take a look at how you're trending. Okay. But the most important thing is if you go under, I think it's, is it reach your audience? Eventually, I don't know if you can see it right now. Here, this audience. Okay, because I can't get this with my YixRS channel. I think it's because I don't have over 100 subscribers. But under audience, they will show you when your people are online, when your subscribers are watching videos. Okay, so where your viewers are on YouTube. So you want to, if you can, post during these times. Right, wherever it's dark purple. All right. Any questions? I've got lots to look at. Like, there's just so much... You know, when you get down to it, you post a video. Once you get that part done, you're like, woohoo, I yeah. posted a video. But then you're like, oh, there is so much to look at. Yeah, there's so much to look at. There's so much to learn. And then once you start diving into the analytics, it gets really cool because then you can see where do your people drop off? Okay, where are your viewers dropping off? Are they dropping off after the first 10 seconds? Are they dropping off after the first five minutes? So when you go, you go take a look, okay, what is the common theme of the area that they're dropping off? Is it because it sounds like I'm going into the ending of my video, they just want to move on? Or is it because um, I wasn't engaging enough at the very beginning? Or was it because I didn't get to the point fast enough? Or what have you, right? So it's actually really interesting so that you can see where people are really staying on and where they're dropping off so you can further improve those segments That's it's really just getting to know what your video is entailing yeah 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 i'm glad you recorded this jess it's a lot of information because oh, i need i we i need i don't know i need to go back and rewatch this so post this all quick okay I'll, I'll post this up i'll i'll, I'll, I'll uh i'll yeah. edit out the, <laughs> the you don't have to edit one. for us <laughs> Any other questions? Talent for you guys. First off, do you guys have a schedule? Fridays. Fridays. Okay. Awesome, Ann. Good for you. The most important thing when you're first starting out, if YouTube 
if some things that you actually want to grow is have a schedule and make yourself accountable for it. It's like a job. It really is. It has to be like a job where you have a deadline. I found that after I started doing deadlines, I'm much more um, strict with myself as opposed to like, yeah, it's just not a video. I'll do it a little bit later. It's like, no, I have to have a video out on Fridays. I have to have a video out on Mondays, even if it's a short, I need to throw it on there, right? As long as I have something. All right. Part of the thing is quality. Part of the thing is quantity as well. When you're first starting off, the quantity is going to be important. And then if you keep it as um, so that people know when you're going to be releasing out a video, they will be looking for it. So that's one important thing. So the challenge is find your schedule. Decide when you want to post up a video, what time of day you want to post up the video. It doesn't have to be exact, but it has to be right around that same time frame each time or your loyal viewers are going to be sitting there waiting for a video that does not come. The final thing, okay? Um, oh, and so once you have that down, if you want accountability, send it to me. Again, totally optional because you guys are your own beauty bosses, but you can send it to me and I will be sitting there, if I possibly can, waiting for your channel to release that day. That is my challenge. I don't care how long, how short the video is. I don't care what it's about but make yourself accountable and be brand specific. Okay. That's what the other thing is also Kenna's like, she's not as nice anymore. She's <laughs> oh, stop it. You're wonderful. The other thing is if you guys are going to choose to do a premiere, okay. Where you do a premiere, you watch live with your viewers, Please. be there live. I have sat through several premieres right now where no, the, the, creator is not there and that looks not so good because people are messaging and chatting and there's nobody there to answer your questions and that just shows that that person isn't there which kind of sucks for the viewers because that's what a premiere is about because you're not showing up to your own event so if you're going to do a premiere make sure you're going to be on for the duration of the time right blast it out everywhere and then at the end make sure you're there for at least another 15 to 30 minutes so that you can answer any other messages that are coming through. Okay. So I, I, I that's just my tip about premieres because literally I sat through a premiere and I was like, Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Oh. So the person wasn't even there. Right. Which is kind of like deflating for the viewers. Yeah. So with our content creator stuff, when we were premiering all that stuff, I think I was there, but I don't like, I don't know what, nothing was happening. So Okay, I will invite you to my next premiere so you can okay. see what happens. Andrea is always on my premiere, so thank you, Andrea. Um, Anne's been on a couple of them too. I think, yeah, you've been on a couple. Um, but I'll try to invite you to my next premiere. And um, you can see there's a live chat that goes on and there's a countdown and everything. So it's really okay. fun. It's really, really fun. I wouldn't suggest to premiere every single video, but premiere the <laughs> ones. So like our collab video, I'll, I'll be premiering that one. That might be my next premiere. Yeah. Oh, please invite me to that one. <laughs> oh, of course I will, for sure. All right, guys, that's it. We have three minutes left. Any last questions? Where's she saying hi to you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Any final questions? Well, that's guys? awesome. No, awesome, awesome. Cool. Any takeaways for today that you want to share? Too many. We have lots of work to do. Yeah, yeah I agree, Anne. <laughs> lots of homework. Yeah. Always, yeah. always lots of homework. Even like you never stop learning. There's always something to learn. I learned from like other creators. Like it's it's just so fun. You know, this community is a really cool community. It is. All right, ladies. I love you. Thanks, Jess. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks again. Bye, Andrew. Bye.